Did you see this? Oh, uh, let me introduce you to uh, uh, um, Andy Travis. Yeah, our program director. Pleasure to meet you, Sparky. Hi, Andy. Hi, Sparky. I'm Bailey. Hi, Bailey. Hi, Sparky. I'm Johnny. Fuzzy, Binky, and Cubby will be along. <laughs> You met Les, our new sports traffic weather and uh, hog report man? Well, when I yelled at him, he didn't hear me. His door was shut. <laughs> Where's Herb? He called. Why did he want? Oh, it's just too embarrassing. I'd rather not say. <laughs> That's uh, Herb Tarlick, our sales manager. He's bringing over the sponsor to your show. Herb's a jackass. <laughs> Ray Hogg of war, and he suddenly gets snooty on us. It's all right, he can't hear us, his door's closed. The wethead's dead, Herb. Hi, Jennifer, I was just, uh... Oh, hey, got some good news. Lucille has gone to visit her mother for a week. Oh, that is good news. I'm sure she'll enjoy the rest. No, 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 you, you don't understand. This is our big chance. I mean... A wife's out of town. No one would ever know if you and I... Uh... No. No. Why not? I have a headache. I have to wash my hair. My mother's in town. I'm engaged. Oh. Arthur, how much do you pay Jennifer a year? Oh, Mom, I don't have to look a figure like that up. $24,000 a year, Arthur. Good God. <laughs> That's right, Mr. Travis. Arthur, tell us, just what does Jennifer do to warrant such a salary? No, nothing, I, I swear. <laughs> Although you, uh, you, you know, Mother, she is a big help to me. Well, Jen, Jennifer does a, a thousand things. <laughs> you want me, Mr. Carlson? Oh, yeah, come in, Jennifer. Uh, have a seat. No, thank you. Well, all right. This particular point in time, I would like to dictate a press release. I don't take dictation. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, all right. I guess I can do this thing myself. <laughs> it's probably going to be a long meeting, though, so why don't you get coffee for all the guys here? I don't get coffee, Mr. Carlson. We agree. <laughs> you have to draw the line somewhere. <laughs> Will there be anything else I can do? No, I ain't got about a dozen. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no. Thank you. <laughs> How did she get away with that? Are you kidding? <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bailey, mm -hmm. are you sure you don't want another blender? No, thanks. You gave me two last year. <laughs> Is this a kitchen? Yes. What did you think it was? Looks like a science exhibit at the World's Fair. I have a friend in the appliance business. But men buy me things. Coats, cars, jewelry, appliances, acoustical ceilings, microwave oven. <laughs> ask them for these things, do you? Never. They just insist. I'm going to need a warehouse for all that stuff. Then that's different. It isn't. It is. Then why are all my dates wealthy, older men? Well, maybe it's just because you're attracted to the, uh, you know, more mature, experienced male. You know, I think I do like older men better. Oh. They're so mature and yeah. kind. Oh. And they tire easily. <laughs> I've noticed that. I can be tough. I can be mean. I can make those hard decisions. And the first decision we're going to have to make around here is what we're going to do about Mama. Mama? Yeah, my mother. She owns this station. I've got to answer to her for everything that goes on around here. We do. Uh, I thought you said you were in charge here. I am in charge here, and don't you forget it, Buster. <laughs> but sometimes Mama scares me a little bit. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, Mr. Carlson, let me ask you another thing. Uh, does your mother want this station to make money? Boy, does she. <laughs> she gets this look in her eye when she talks about money. Starts making this <laughs> noise down deep in the throat. <laughs> oh, well, good. Because I think she's going to like what we do around here. Huh? You think he means that? No. <laughs> I hate looking like a bad guy. Hey. You never look bad. I know. <laughs> and so with denim, I feel comfortable and relaxed. I feel as though I can work better. Do other program directors dress like that? 
Al, some of them. Oh, not a little confining. <laughs> All right. Let's go to a party, huh? Come on. Hey, Andy. Huh? You know, there was something, man, I've been wanting to do for a long time. <laughs> what? Uh -oh. Can I do it or not? Yeah, sure, I guess. Thanks, man. Okay, why don't you loan him your pirate outfit? <laughs> Travis, I dress like that because I'm in show business. I got a public to consider. Well, you're probably looking for the dance studio upstairs. <laughs> yeah, I'm a shake, see? Shake. Yeah, that's how you pronounce chic. People be thinking I'm rich. <laughs> hey, brother man, give me some of that oil. Not today, boys. We're all out. Shake Venus, Ben Flytrap. Oh. 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 What's happening, white folks? Well, you a little early this morning, aren't you, Venus? Yeah, I had to come downtown and have my suit worked on. Uh, it's Italian. Oh, I guess an outfit like that's in the shop most of the time, huh? I got suits I can't even get parts for. <laughs> Sunshine, dupe, style, cool, midnight, no. Uh, officers. No, I would never do that. No, it was Dr. Johnny Fever. I heard you this morning. You were great, man. Fever? Huh, I better write that down. <laughs> On those late nights before finals. Now, what does taking a final exam have to do with losing weight? I know about Mary Jane, too. <laughs> so watch your step. <laughs> Mary Jane? Who? <laughs> WKRP, information beacon of the Ohio Valley presents Les Nesman and the News. <laughs> and up to the minute commentary from one of journalism's most trusted voices, five-time winner of the Buckeye News Hawk Award. Is that new? I just had it made. Very nice. And Les Nesman, news director of WKRP for the past seven time. years. I won this one in 1975 when I broke the big soybean shortage story. Now, over here, over here. Uh, say, Les. What? What's Herb Charlie -like, like? Hard worker, loyal husband, all around fine person. Now, this, this is the coveted Silver Sow Award. I'm sure your viewers would love to touch it. <laughs> Mr. Carlson, I have reason to believe that a plot is being perpetrated by a certain element of employees here whose intention is to burn down or blow up this station. <laughs> At the very least, I believe this group plans to come to work naked. <laughs> Good Lord. That's what I said. Look, Les, I, I know you got a great nose for news, but uh, you're also a little conspiracy-minded now, aren't you, huh? I wouldn't say so. Come on, Les, you remember the way you broadcast Bing Crosby's death? First Presley, now Crosby. Just a coincidence? I wonder. <laughs> Isn't this exciting, Mr. Carlson? <laughs> yeah, it certainly is. Yeah, our first concert. I mean, the first concert we've had since we've gone rock. And we sold out, too. <laughs> Of course, it's not a very big auditorium, but still, I think it's very exciting. <laughs> Who's she? Bailey Quarters. She work here? Uh-huh. I like her. I know. You say that every time you meet her. I do. Excuse me, Andy, uh, am I interrupting anything important? Oh, uh, believe me, it's nothing important. Well, Andy, I, I, uh, I sort of had an idea. It's, uh, pretty bad, I bet. <laughs> Probably something we shouldn't do. Bailey. But I read about it somewhere. Bailey. Yes. Sir. What's the idea? <laughs> what? The Internal Revenue Service. <laughs> what do you got in mind? Oh, uh, I don't know, Andy. It's probably a lousy idea. <laughs> come, on, come on, Bailey. Now's not the time to get shy on us. <laughs> well, I can't help it. <laughs> come on, Bailey. Speak up for once. Oh, gee, Bailey, I, I don't know. I... Mr. Carlson, has everything you've ever done on this radio station always worked perfectly? <laughs> 
well, not perfect. Well, yeah, I am. Then I deserve the same chance to be imperfect. I'm just a shy person, that's all. You don't seem too shy to me. Oh. Well, uh, then can you and Andy and I go into your office and discuss this thing calmly? Well, okay, that sounds like a good idea, isn't it, Travis? Oh, that's fine with me. <laughs> Did I say send in the clowns, huh? <laughs> I am a fan. <laughs>